Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. I haven't been putting much of makeup at all today, but I do have this project pen update that I wanted to do with you guys. So here I am. A quick explanation, I guess, why I'm not putting on makeup is a lot of things happened in my family recently. That's all of my personal life. I don't want the negativities gets into your guys' happy lives. So in as a result, I was taking a little bit more responsibility just for the temporary time and that's really kind of dries me out. <laughs> um, so I just don't have the time and sometimes I don't feel like I really wanted to put a lot of makeup on. I rather just want to stay back and relax and you might notice all around my mouth I have so much dry skins happening there's a bit of stress here and there I'm coping really well mentally and it's getting better uh, towards to the end of this kind of 10 period time I will have the chance to catch a breath and then hopefully Easter comes and I have like proper time to relax etc anyway without further ado let's just have a look of what I've got for this project pen update because I have great updates I'm really excited and sitting in front of a camera with you guys is actually the best moment that I've been waiting this for weeks but I was unable to have the time but finally I've got a time to chat with you guys so if you like the whole project pen idea I did my intro in Jen. Um, I'll leave that link somewhere up above and down below. Don't forget to check it out. In this year's project pen, it's going to be so much different to the previous years, but I'll leave all the previous just in the description box in case if someone just enjoying project pen, exploring the world of panning things. Let me get a tip of coffee, get yourself ready, and we're going to start this in. So this year, my project pen was into a few sections. I have a section of makeup and then a whole bunch of section of skincare. Skincare wise, I've got full size, I've got travel sizes and sample size. A foil sample size product. Overall, the number is 23, so it fits in the theme of 23 to be penned in the year of 2023. The first category I remember last time when I did my intro was about the skincare. And I might went with samples first, I can't remember, but I think that's what we're gonna do today because I had great results. Um, I've put in 10 foil samples to use up and I finished seven. I've got three that I'm currently working on. So the ones that I finished, one is a chlorine purifying mask powder. So it's one of those products that you created as a, I guess, weekly or monthly or fortnightly treatment, a really clean steep up to your scalp, um, replacing the shampoo. So it tells you like in the whole range of where do they sit. I found this one is good, but it's hard to use. Because it's in a powder, you're meant to get it on your hands and then rub it, forming it. So when I dip all of the powder on my hand, some of them get dissolved, but the one that's deep down in between was still a powder form. I found that's really difficult. I probably should just dip a little bit into forming it up, wash, and then a little bit more, you know, in that sense. So I'm kind of hoping if they can have like a container idea of some sort, it's still waterproof, I guess. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna manage, but it will be so much better if you can sort of control the amount every time you get. But the product itself is really good, so I really do love it, and I had a few more examples that I do want to continue use it and use it up. Um, still within the hair and sort of category, another two hair product that I finished, one is another shampoo. This is a amino acid and plus vitamin B6 10 ml shampoo I think I use it twice my hair is getting pretty long at the moment so I'm not surprised and I'm kind of glad it lasts me twice um, it was good nothing special I don't think I'll rapist just considering the price but yeah it's a good product that I would really love to receive in my example pile and then I finished this Husk Argan Oil Conditioner. Although this isn't a foil example, this is actually their full size. It's got 50 gram or mils in it. I have used their products before and I feel like I used exactly the same one. But this one, for some reason, I have the Repairing Deep Conditioner. I feel this one smells really fishy. 
really fishy every time when I use it. And I didn't remember it was the case previously. I did previously depot it into a jar and use it every time. And this time I was just using it from the foil sample. I don't know if that's the differences, but I was thinking this is going to be an okay product to use, but now I've noticed the fishy smell. I don't want to use it again. Conditioning purpose, it was alright, nothing special. And then I've got a whole bunch of skincare here. First is a cream that is aiming for a KP, so Keratosis Pilaris cream you can use for the face as well as for the body. I use it on my arms and it actually made a huge difference. It was so much smoother, the skin was so much softer, the bumps are so much like minimized compared to before. So I will put this one aside and look for the products, see how much a recharge for a full price one and I'll keep it on my wish list to purchase in the future when it's a deal or purchase with free gift or something. Another cream is from CeraVe. This is the moisturizing cream. This is a big 7ml sort of foil sample as well. I really do like this one, but I wish it was actually better. There are times when I had a bit of sensitivities around my um, lips, uh, like around my mouth. And then I was hoping this one can really kind of calming everything. It didn't. I was hoping this one can do just a little bit more because so many people said so much good things about it. So I think it's a great moisturizer. Maybe I'll pick it up if it's on sale, but I don't think I'm so keen to really want to get a full size after trying the temple. And then I also had a L'Oreal Midnight Serum. This is a one mil sachet, I believe. It lasts me actually a couple nights. I only use it during the night time because I realized this one peels me off. I don't know if it's because the combination of other things that I've got in my like skincare routine, but when I'm using it, it really peels me off and I don't realize a difference. Like it hasn't got anything special in my opinion. Maybe I wasn't using it long enough. I do still have a couple more sachets. I might try to use that all together next time, but so far, it's just all right. Then I have an eye cream. This is by Sicily. This is their black rose eye contour fluid this is like a 1.5 mil or 2 mil product and it lasts me like a whole week i think because how much you put it around your eyes is so much lesser and i wasn't like being really mean about the amount i'm using it i'm using decent amount this one is really good as in moisturizing i don't know it's worth the price tag it charges for but if you do have the money that you want to invest in something and you're just after a good sort of, you know, bougie product that actually works. I do think this one for moisturization level and that luxury feeling and the scent is a pretty good product. So I'm really happy to receive the foil sample and I hope to get a little bit more in the future. For the three products I didn't finish, I'm still working on. One of them is this facial or body oil. Um, I did use some of it. You can probably see it's not a full bottle. Um, this one actually smells like a bit of essential oil. It wasn't like the very fluidy moisturizing body oil. It's just not a type of thing that I would go for. So I'm really happy it's a sample size and I'm still really working hard on it. I've tried to use it on my face. It's fine. I try to use it on my body. Definitely not something I prefer. So I'm hoping as the weather in Australia gets a little bit more cooler and drier, I can just work this one to the end of it, but I don't know if I'll be able to roll it out the next update because we're kind of still in the summer. I'm still like short sleeve and in skirts at the moment. The other thing is something that I thought I'll definitely finish, but eh. it's this uh, hand cream by NS Nutri Synergy Working Hands Intensive Repair Treatment for Hands that Work in Harsh Environments. This one I actually can use a little bit just right now because my hands, it is pretty dry. So it's a nice creamy texture and it says fast absorbing. And I tried it, I just opened it the other day. It's really quick absorbing. Like it's really good, but I was having some other creams I'm working on. So I put this one aside to my computer. It's like, you know, when I'm working, editing, I can definitely do it. And because things happen in the family, so I wasn't actually having the chance to spend more time working on my computer. 
So this one was just sort of neglected over there and I was checking it the other day, open it, it's really good. I definitely think I'll be able to finish this one by the next update, but I was kind of bummed about the fact that I didn't finish this time. And then I have one makeup product by Charlotte Tilbury, their Wonder Glow Instant Fo Softer Focus Beauty Glow Primer. I have used this in one of my recent Get Ready With Me videos and I've used it for I'll say five or six times so far. This is only a 1.5ml and I, again I wasn't being mean with the amount I'm using it. I was really using a lot but I still got... I think it's still got half of it left, like you can still see there's product in this little sachet. It's a great primer, give you a natural glow, doesn't got much of coverage but it's kind of somewhat correcting your skin, looks a lot better, especially if your skin self condition is kind of towards the perfect or good condition, you might get away with this one adding a little bit of concealer to the area that you want to perfect it. You don't need to go for a full on makeup and this can cover you as a base slash BB cream, your beauty cream, that type of thing. So that is all of the example size. I have finished a seven, so I need to draw another seven. Here is my foil sample container. I didn't do it in front of camera last time because I don't know how it's going to turn out. So this is one of the craft box my sister used to have and I just used this box and this is a perfect box to put in all of my sample products here. So I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to take seven out. Okay, this is an exciting moment. Oh, that's a big one. Two, I hope you guys still see it. Three, four, five, oh no, six, why, seven, all right, why am I getting that conditioner all over again? The first one is the Haska Argan Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner, this is exactly the same. Strengths restore dry damage here. I think they're in different packaging. This one says no parabens around the corner. This one didn't say. It says it has no. Okay, so I'm, because the packaging is different, maybe the batch are different as well. So I'm gonna give it one more go just to see if it actually works. But I just finished it. Oh! I do also have a pair of Briogeal, their scalp revival. A shampoo, micro exfoliating shampoo, and then a hydrating scalp mask. I'm not someone really enjoying a hair mask, especially if it's like those leave in, left it for 10 minutes or something. Use it in shower after exfoliating with the shampoo, apply it directly, massage it in, leave it on for up to 10 minutes, rinse out thoroughly. All right, I'll give it a go, see how I found about it. So that's the number two. I've got another of this hand cream. Oh, dang it. This is the same that I'm currently using. I mean, I like it, but I'm not necessarily wanting to use two in a row. And then I have another body care. This is the Body Shop Almond Milk Body Yogurt. This is a 5ml product. I think I should be able to finish this with in one go, so that's good. Another makeup product from Rare Beauty. This is their Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I did pick this up the other day when I was shopping from the Space NK, I think, because I always want to get here in Australia, but they either just rent, they sell us so fast, so I'm thinking getting a sample to try out. I am hoping to use as much like as many shades as possible. So looking at it in front of the camera, except the most two deepest color, I can probably use the first to four shades, some really light. So I might able to mix the light with medium tan and then the light medium probably just my everyday coverage. The medium probably give me a little bit more like correcting, like really high coverage, like for spot conceal or something. So yeah, I'm Came to give this one a go. I've got two skincare products. One is the Neostrata 
Glycolic Renewing Smoothing Cream. It's got 10% AHA. That's really good. I'm in lack of using my AHA mask these days. Like sometimes I do exfoliating masks. I just did it yesterday with a sheet mask. I got different versions, so I try to always make sure I have something to exfoliate chemically um, every week. So I can put this into the next week use or use the cream. And then I have a skin studio called Triple Lipid Restore 242. This is a restorative cream. This one got 2% ceramide, 4% cholesterol, and 2% fatty acids. That's where the 242 ratios come from. I'm really keen to give this one. It's got 2 ml, but it looks like it's very fully packed. Maybe it's just air bubbles. So, here's all the seven things. Along with the three products that I was still kind of working on. We'll see how we go in two months time. I'm not really happy with this one, but it is just what it is. The next category is my travel sizes, which I had five to start with and it's still a rolling style. I had finished three of them, so that's really happy. The first one is the Caldele Lotion Clean Skin Purifying Toner. I've been basically using this as a second, like, toning, cleansing toner. Like saying if I double cleanse my skin, I tend to use a toner to wipe it off again. Just to making sure there was no, especially residuals kind of around the ridges of my face. So, and I also use it as a kind of refreshing toner after I finish shower. So I went through this one really quickly. I didn't like it to go around my eyes, it's a bit stinging, but everything else is fine. And then we have a Lancome Multi Lift Cream. This is one for face and neck. So I've been using it for my neck as a neck cream and it's completely gone. It is kind of like a cream texture, but once you melt it in the palm of your hand, it becomes a lotion feeling. It is super, super moisturizing. If you apply too much, it gets a little bit sticky, but the moisturization level is really good. And then I also finished a Clarins Multi, is that Multi-Active Night Cream. This is the one before they change the formula. I do feel like this, not the formula, the packaging. I feel like the formula is still the same. I love it so much that I cut it open and used every single last drop like it's just like a brand new packaging now i do have a couple of clarence product travel sizes full sizes in my collection i'll be really happy working through them it's going to be a dream if i ever roll them in and then the two products that i kind of just like one i'm working on one i'm in a queue the one i'm working on is the kiehl's rare earth deep pore cleansing mask this is a 14 ml mask i have used it for i think three times I don't know if you can tell, it has gone from, not like full, full, like they won't feel out that full, from like full from here to all the way it is now. I do think if I'm focusing using this like every week, I should be finished it or close to, very close to finish by the next update. But I do have another mask I'm working on and I'm trying to make progress for the both. So I'll see how I go. The one I'm in the queue is also the Lancome Multi Lift Ultra Anti Wrinkle Firming Cream. I did not use this at all because, because I am working on a full size skincare cream that's in my project pen that I'm going to mention in a minute. So I think I should be able to finish the other cream very soon and then I'll start working on this and I should be able to finish this one by the next update. That's what I'm hoping for. So for all of the travel sizes, I've got five and I finished three. So I'll be able to roll in another three products here. All right, I'm back. I am gonna and my battery was dying, so I have to reposition it. I feel like the camera kind of went a little bit this way again. I did found all three of them. It took me a little while, but I've got it all. So the first one is the Clarins Extra Firming Lotion Day Cream. This is something I was using before because I love the Clarins so much. I don't know if you guys can tell, but because I'm filming just right directly um, against the window, I feel like it's kind of here at the moment. I would say the full size of this one will probably just here anyway. So I don't have a lot to work on, which is a good thing because I've got a few creams that I want to go on. So I can also focus on the Lancome one, but this is that. And... Number four is the Lancome Tonic Lotion. This is the hydrating toner. 
a 50 ml product. I personally can use this one, it's not my personal favorite. My mom loved this one in particular. I like a toner that I can spray around my face. This is too thick for that purpose. You do have to pad. The last, not the least, it's another matte mask. I'm having three of them working out at the moment. This is a 50 ml one as well by uh, Antipose Halo Skin Brightening Face Halo Mask. It's a brand new one. Uh, I think I'm still gonna use it in the order as I want to finish the Kios first, but also definitely will open this one, give it a go. And while I'm using the three together, I can kind of try and compare which one do I like better. That is that pile that is all sorted. Now, let's go into the full-size skincare that I chose in myself. Now I'm looking at it, I could choose something else. The first is the mask that I was talking about. It's the Isn't Trey Radio Mark Worth Clay Mask. I did put this into one of my giveaway boxes because I do them pretty often. So I don't know which one was it. Probably the one, not the last one, the one before. If you like these giveaways, don't forget to consider because uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it out. Um, anyway. This was so good that I put it into one of the giveaway boxes before and I'm working on this one as well. I started with the blue line here and now I am up to the pink. I do want to see this progress every time when I do update. That was why I was kind of using the both. Once I see this one had a good progression, I was like, all right, I can put it aside and try to use the other one. And then I was saying this moisturizer that I'm working on is isn't in its free. This one is isn't free, this one is in its free. The Jeju Ocker Gel Cream. It was a full bottle when I opened it. Now, I don't know if you can tell, it's got, I'll say like a quarter left, to be honest. I definitely think I can finish this one by the next update. So that's that one. And then I can work on the other creams that I've got. The last product is actually a hair product. It's the Ordinary multi Peptide Serum for Hair Density. I did start it almost like a brand new bottle it's from here, the blue line. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. And I made a marking just in the pink line right over here. I did use a lot and I don't use the dropper because I don't like the design of a dropper. So what do I do is to depot this into a spray bottle, which I used to have for Avinda. I think that's the brand. And then I'll spray in a hairline where I want to have the volume. like lift it up some hair and spray it there and to have a nice dense kind of volumized looking hair. It's been working really good and give it a bit of nutrition as well. Um, I don't think I'll finish this one by the next update but I think this will be out maybe in a couple months time so maybe see it one more time before I finish it by mid-year I think. That was all of my skincare. The full size product, I didn't finish any of them, so there's no rolling in. Now let's move into makeup where I have a usage go. I did pick five randomly selected, five makeup products to be used each for 10 times. The first one that I've chosen was a blush palette. This is my current everyday makeup drawer, so let me get it. This is the um, Mimit Box Blush Palette in the shade like Champagne Tea Party or something. It's a really, really pretty blush palette. I love it. It's got gorgeous colors here. I usually don't do swatch it, but I feel like this time I'm lying. These three pairs really well because you can tell this one as a topper compared with the other two. And then if you want to go for a burnt look or just a natural look. Even my skin is a lot darker than before now. I still use it and it works perfectly for me. So this is definitely something I'm so glad that I received from the event calendar because I probably would not purchase myself, but now I'm using it, I'm so enjoyed. For usage wise, I have used this whole palette seven times in total and I did try to remember which one that I used by how many times. For the Champagne shade over here. This one's called Vintage. I've used it six times. And then the middle shade is called Rose. I've used it two times. And then the very on the side is called Pop the Champagne. It's used for four times. So overall, I am seven, three times away to finish it. If I did makeup, I would definitely use this palette and it'll be just like two times to go. No problem for next rolling out. 
The next thing that I um, selected was a single eyeshadow glitter topper. It's by the brand A Pure. I actually don't know how to say it. It's their full shot glitter. It's again a very, very pretty shade. Just look at that. Oh, it's a very subtle, but if you apply it wet, it can definitely give you some intensity. I just kind of feel a bit of shame that it doesn't have the chrome sheen. It have a golden kind of glitter in it, so it's not silvery glitter. It's a golden look to glitter. It still looks really good on my eyes, and it's something that I can use and even though I'm doing a neutral eye look. It can just pop it out. I have used it for five times. I'm halfway through. I am kind of keen to give this one another five time usage. And then I have a lipstick. It's by the brand S H E or She. Lipstick is called Enjo. So it's a very pinkish color. I have used it two times so far. I do like the formula and it's really very moist, really very. <laughs> moisturizing and if you apply just a light amount of it it's not a barbie pink so even if i say apply it a little bit on my it yeah it has a little bit of that neon shade but it's not a lot so usually what i do when i apply this type of shade i would top it with a oil or a like a gloss to divert the intensity of this and it will look a lot better however by saying that i have written a word declutter next to it because the amount of time that i was able to use this shade is so little and i was forcing myself to think about this lipstick every time when i applied makeup out of the time that i was using it i was unable to put it more than two times on my lips so i love it the formula everything fortunately i think it is time to let it go and it hasn't gone bad so it's got an essential oil scent so it's really really sad for me to say goodbye to this but i think it's time and the amount of lipstick that i've got i don't need to hang on to this and i still have more other same colors that i can have in my collection and to be honest even if I don't have this color, I should be fine. So I can roll in one more because I'm decluttering this. And then the next product is a Rimmel eyeliner. It's their Scandal Eyes eyeliner in the shade wine, I believe. Because yeah, in the shade wine. I have used it 12 times since the last update. So my progress was from where was it? From here to start with, if I you guys can see to the marking point that I did. I made that marking when I hit 10 times usage and then I used it additional two times. Now I can eat in my project pen if I roll in something else and I'll replace this. I love it. I like to play this in the inner corner and then have a little wing if it's on an everyday basis, although I'm not using it today. I'm not having any makeup on except a bit of concealer. And so that means I can do one more roll in because that's out. The last on the list is the eyeshadow palette, the Balm eyeshadow palette, what's the tea? I have used this palette eight times in total, so that means I have done full makeup eight times in the month of Jen and Fab. Considering everything happening, I'm very happy actually. So I have to use every single shade once, I have already done that. I've done the primer one of each. And I hate the primer, so I would never ever use it again if I don't have to. For all the other shades, let's do it this way. I have used Hey Girl Hey one time, Ooh La La four times, Spill the Beans four, uh, five times. This is mainly an inner corner shade. This is like a base shade. This is just an outer corner emphasizing shade. Worst on the Street three times as a, a base shade as well. On the countdown five times, on the count, uh, on the down low, sorry, five times. This is my sort of central lip shade, so it has a nice dip in there. And then tell all, how many times? Five times. This one does a bit of chrome sheen to it, a little shift. However, the shift is not my favorite color story, but it's a nice chrome shift. 
And then recipes two times, drama queen one time, scandalous five time. This is the mainly shade that I'm using to emphasize the outer corner. So out of this one, it's a very neutral everyday look in my opinion with a couple of pop colors that you can slightly change the eye look. I have two more to go. I definitely can roll this one out. In this case, I've got two things to roll out and two things to roll in. Let's randomly generate it. Let's go. This is quick. Didn't take me long enough because I have a well-organized system. <laughs> not really. I did review Elf CC Cream. Well, I was thinking about it now. It's not recently. Well, second half of the year of 2022. And then I used this contour palette because I did a one brand sort of get ready with me. Goes the same 10 times rolling out unless decluttering it. But I forgot the shade. This is the Lancome Road 360A. There. Let me have a look. What color? <gasps> wow. That's not what I expected. I thought it was going to be a slightly like a shade. And it's a brand new one. That I haven't used it before. Do I really want to start using it then? Hmm. You know what? Let's say that's a yes. I'm gonna wipe off everything on my lips now. It's another kind of like pinkish color and I'm just gonna apply it on my lips just to see how I feel about it. It's quite pink. It's very pink. Oh god. It reminds me of my I think I have a Givenchy one that's kind of in this shade. How did I get this lipstick in the first place? The formula is actually very, very similar to this one. That's why I'm saying this is a good one. Um, the shade does look like it is not as variable, as wearable as a lot of my other shade, but I can definitely pull this one off more often because it had that sort of reddish tones underneath to it and it's cool but it's not super bad so all right 10 time usage of this one i don't count for today's i'll count from next time when i use it okay it's gonna hopefully not a very long video but that's everything that i've got for this update i will see you guys in two months time to see how i go i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe down below uh, leave me a comment if you are doing similar things if you're trying to work your foil samples or travel sizes or whatever how you're going how you're tracking along or if you have any ideas suggestions to how i should do my project pen in a better way that you guys more enjoyed the way how i film it or you know any suggestions i'm open to everything i'm still working my way tipping my toes in this whole projecting pen world and i'm loving it i hope you guys stay safe and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video bye